Let's see. Hello. Today's date, it is March 28th of 2018. Today is Wednesday. Monday was my 77th birthday. If you watched the uh, last video, I told you I was going to do a road trip because my daughter Hillary was going to, was coming over and picking picking me up for my birthday, my 77th birthday. And Hillary was also uh, taking her son, who's, I think, 27. I mean, my grandson, of course. And uh, James, my son, who lives here. So uh, the four of us were heading out to uh, Oklahoma to the Windstar Casino. And she had two comp rooms, or one comp room for two days, hotel room. And so uh, I thought I was going to be doing a road trip, a not a walking and talking, but a video road trip. And I've had this uh, Panasonic R7, I think for about three months, and I really, I think I made one video the first day I got it. Uh, and I hadn't done any studying up on it. And I, I, I purchased it because I did have so many tremendous, although I, with my cameras, I, you know, almost always, you know, shoot in automatic mode and very simple. But I wanted this. It has cinematic mode and all types of stuff. But I didn't do any reading up on it. And so just a few hours before I left, I went in and set some of the settings that I thought would be good for the trip. And then when uh, Hillary came over here with her car and I decided to take a little video there. Oh, man. Uh, yeah. So I, I need to read up on this and I need to set it back to... Uh, the settings that come with it and then go through and set it up ag ag again. So there's no video of a road trip. I think there's several pictures. Uh, they're probably uploaded to uh, Google Photos. But uh, no video because uh, that was, I should have just taken my other uh, Panasonic camera, the one I have used in the past. But I do want to learn how to properly use this since I spent a lot of money for it. Uh, a few days ago, I told you that I was through with uh, Windows. And of course, this is, and I had deleted it and I installed uh, uh, Linux Mint. Very happy with it, by the way, Linux Mint uh, version 18.3. And really neat. Uh, very happy with it. But then I just a uh, few hours ago was laying in bed and I thought I've got to, I've just got to put Windows back on. So I've put Windows on. So now I've got a whole bunch of stuff to install. But um, I'm going to put Linux Mint on dual boot. So I'll have Windows 10 and Linux Mint. Uh, I want to say a thank you to I one of the programs that I use is uh, what is it Monvilla a suite of um, the suite you get everything into one or you can buy components separately or whatever and it is really great for what I do that's what I'm doing right now I'm using it right now and I thought Okay, and I've, you know, I've paid for it. I've renewed it from time to time when extra things, you know, new versions, all that kind of stuff, and a bunch of other programs that I've done the same thing. Well, the I thought, okay, I'm going to install it, and I have my registration number, but then it is going to say that it is on a different computer, blah, 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 blah. I go through that all the time. I fucking hate it. One reason I want to get away from Windows, but... Uh, you know, I installed this, and then I put in my registration number, and it said registered. 
and I don't know how many other programs that I've paid a lot more money than this for. And if you format your computer or if you uh, get a new computer or something, they'll say, sorry, uh, you're only allowed to use it on one you know, computer or something like that, and you have to. And sometimes they'll, you can contact them, and depending on which, who it is, you know, which company, they'll say, okay, well, well, we'll turn it on for you, you know. And then I, there for a while, I was formatting my computer, doing all kinds of stuff, and, and I went to them again and said, you know, and they said, no, I'm sorry, we've already activated it three times or five times or something. We're not doing it anymore for you. So on a, if you're looking for a video suite, so this, they, um, you know, this does screen capture with audio and uh, you can uh, then when you're done with it, you can they have a program for editing it and a whole bunch of stuff. And uh, so I just want to thank these people for. Uh, last few days have been hectic. Uh, and I know it's nothing compared to, you know, I'm not working, I'm uh, retired, and uh, so I'm at home, and I'm at home most of the time. <laughs> uh, so I know it's nothing compared to what you working people have to go through every day, but, oh, man, the last few days have been hectic with, you know, the camera situation, and for the last month I've had a I have we have I have a cell phone and we have two voice over IP phone lines that we've had for years uh, one I use for which nobody ever calls me on <laughs> except my daughter maybe and uh, and of course I have a cell phone I have that and then my ex-wife and I we and our son we share the cost on this apartment that makes it easier on all of us but uh, she has, you know, one of the voice over IP lines I gave her. And so for the last uh, month, I, I, and the voice over IP that I use for the one phone line, I think the one, uh, one phone line, I think is, uh, I think it is uh, window or Google voice. And the other one I, I paid a company <clears throat> and I've been, <clears throat> Excuse me, using them for the last two videos I make. I've started choking up after. My hearing is gone, been gone for years. My vision is going. And before long, my voice is going. Uh, other parts of me have gone, but uh, kind of pacemaker. You know. Now my voice is going great. Uh, what's left? Um, so. Anyway, the I get a this voice over IP that I pay for. I pay fifty nine dollars a year. I've been paying that to them every year in May. That's when it's due. And then I noticed <clears throat> several years ago that they had gone to they didn't offer that plan anymore. But you could still if you had the plan, you still had it and, and whatever. But I noticed now that they the plan they have is. Uh, I'm not sure if you can get it for, or if you, there's some extras maybe, but I think it's about almost $200 a year, $170 a year for voice over IP. And uh, so, by the way, about uh, a month ago, I get an, an email saying uh, your, your card is no good and you need to enter the inf new information on your card. And I thought, okay, well, yeah, I pay them once a year. I wonder why they're even checking it because it's May. But PayPal did issue, I think to everybody, I know, I think to everybody, PayPal issued new cards that, uh, and everybody got a new number too for their, you know, their card. I believe everybody did. And the card is a little designed a little bit differently. The number's on the back. And I don't, you know. But so, oh, I thought, okay, so they've got the PayPal thing. So I gave them, the um, you know the uh, the new PayPal thing, and a few days, and it looks like it accepts it. 
And then a few days later, I get a thing saying that card, your card is no good. You know, same thing I got people. It's no good. They don't say exactly no good, but you know. So I thought, well, it looked to me like it went through. So I go back and uh, I give them a different card, my bank, my bank card. And there's an option there that every once a year when I renew the thing, there's an option there to, you can add money for some reason to the account. So you have credit with them or something. I never knew, I don't think they ever explained what that was for, but every time I renewed, I put $10 in it, and there was always $10 in it. And I thought maybe that's for if you make international phone calls, and I've never, I don't think I've ever made an international phone call in my life, by the way. Uh, but I thought maybe that's what it's for. So anyway, when I put this bank card in, I put $10 into the, into the thing, and it looks like it's accepted. And then I get a thing a, a few days later saying, yeah, you know, the card is not the same thing. Card is not accepted. So I uh, don't remember if I put another card in or if then that's the point I sent an email to them, you know, their help thing or whatever. And I got back a, a standard response that I'm sure I don't think anybody even actually looked at what I sent. So I put another card in, I believe. And then I get a thing. Uh, I'm not sure if they sent a thing. I think they sent a thing saying the card, you know. And uh, so I, I just what the hell with it, you know. So I made, so then I got a thing saying, okay, you're, uh, if you don't pay with a card within uh, 24 hours, your service will be disconnected. So then I made arrangements. Uh, okay, it's going to be Darlene's phone that's going to be. So I just made arrangements. I told you know, okay, if your if the phone gets disconnected, I'll move my voice over IP phone to you. I'll just have my cell phone. It's, that's all I need. I don't get phone calls anyway. I don't make phone calls. Uh, and then an email comes in right at the time when we're getting ready to go to the casino for my birthday. I get a thing that says, uh, your phone service has been disconnected and you owe $67 uh, that hasn't been paid. And if you don't pay it, it's gonna be, it'll be turned over to a collection agency. So I check my phone is, my voice over IP is still working. Darlene's voice over IP is still working. I try calling all both the numbers, everything, they're working. So I call the company and had, I was on hold for a long time, but they had a thing, you know, press one and we'll call you, you know, you're back. But anyway, I just stayed on the line. A nice lady came on, a little bit confusing because I, I what, I don't even, and she said, uh, she did some checking. She said, it looks like a number is set up here, you know, 990 area, I don't know what she said. I said, I don't know anything about it. And she says, yeah, she says, and she says, yeah, you keep your service. You don't know us anything. She says, yeah, we'll take care of it here. Everything's okay. So I went through that and I don't like dealing with, I don't like calling into helplines or anything. I just leave me alone, you know? So I had that. So anyway, uh, Hillary came by and picked us all up and we went out to the casino and it's a massive, but I think it has a sign, largest casino, or I don't know. Or I think the way they probably word it, though, you know, largest casino complex or something, you know, that lets them. Uh, but we go out, and it's, I've been there before with a uh, son, and I might have been there before. Anyway, we, I've been out there before, but it's a massive complex. They have everything in there. Uh, but, and of course, I told Hillary just, you know, that's the main, of course, they have main entrance. You know, this is the such and such, you know, Madrid entrance. This is the Baghdad, and, you know, I don't know what. And I guess if you go in there, they probably have machines that fit the, uh, but uh, I said, just park. And because we only had, you know, 
because we were going to stay. That was Monday, and we didn't get out there till I think seven or eight or something at night. And so we were going to stay in the gamble and stay in the hotel room. Then the next day would be Tuesday. We would gamble and uh, stay in the hotel room. And then Wednesday, gamble, and then leave by checkout time, 10 in the morning or something, Wednesday. So we got there, and then Hillary was trying to find the entrance to where the whole, you know, we finally had to walk in and have Telsey, and then security says, oh, okay, you need to go all the way around and uh, whatever. So finally we got in there, and re a nice room. I was expecting a bigger TV set, but uh, had a you know I'm, I guess that was adequate for that room. Uh, two big beds um, and a chair that could be used you know to sleep in too. And uh, so then Hillary gave us all money because it was my birthday. I got an extra amount of money, and we went down and. Uh, gambled and lost all the money not a lot but we lost a lot of money and then uh, we went back upstairs I, I th or did we eat I think we ate then and it, they had an IHOP in there I love IHOP food and everything my son had a hamburger it looked excellent he said it was excellent and I had the uh, sampler breakfast plate or whatever that had you know, of course, I had I got scrambled eggs, so scrambled eggs, pancakes, bacon, sausage, ham. What else? Anyway, and it was excellent. And uh, then we went up to the room, and then Hillary said, "Well, you know, we got here late today, so uh, this is the money for so gave gave us more money, and because it was my birthday, I got extra." And we went down and we lost that. And uh, then we all went up to the room and I told Hillary uh, and Jimmy agreed with me. He says, you know, we're, I'm not really into to, uh, gambling anymore. And he's not either. We've kind of learned our lesson. And especially there, uh, when I was in Kansas City, Kansas City, Missouri, when the casinos came, I loved them. I had a lot of fun. I won money. Of course, I mean, I, I came out losing, you know, but uh, my son, when he turned 21, he had to be 21, he won $1,300 his first, you know, day that he won on his birthday. Um, but after leaving Kansas City, Missouri, uh, my one son and I, we, when we were heading for Florida driving down. He was driving down there. We got to the Kentucky, I think Kentucky, Tennessee border. There was a river boat, so it would make it legal, you know, and uh, we didn't win anything. We, uh, well, when my son and I went to uh, Orlando there, we gambled on a, a ship that had to leave the dock and go out beyond the, you know, we gambled and we lost. Uh, well, Outside of Kansas City, Missouri, I never, and when I go into these casinos, I I never see anybody winning. I never hear anybody winning. When I was in Kansas City, Missouri, at Sam's Club and the other uh, places there, uh, sometimes we would win, and all the time you heard. One time I was in the high rollers thing and. Jimmy was in there with me, but he wasn't playing. He was just in there, and I was playing the high roller. I think I was only doing the dollar machines, but I, I heard this horrible, terribly, this screaming that just went on and on. And uh, I, uh, I told Jimmy, I said, go see what, what's happening. I said, I think maybe a machine fell on somebody or something. And there they had a bunch of, all over the place, they had a bunch of uh, machines, slot machines around. And there, there'd be a boat in, uh, in the middle. And if you 
under certain circumstances, if you won the big jackpot, you got the boat, or they'd have a, a sports car, an expensive sports car, a boat, a sports car, a fantastic motorcycle, you know, and all that kind of stuff. And the lady, or the other lady, had won the car. And so that's what that horrific, terrible screaming was. But like uh, when I was in Kansas City at the casino, I, I used to play a lot the uh, video poker, dollar video poker. Sometimes the 25 cent, you know, of course you put in more than, you know. But uh, the big jackpot is like the royal flesh, and if you get it in order, all right, on the, you know, uh, not mixed up. If you get it mixed up, you still win. But if you get it in order, ooh. And I think I was playing the dollar. Maybe I was playing the quarter. I might have been playing the quarter. I think the jackpot, if I had got a royal flush in order, I think the that would be, you know, ace, king, king, queen, you know, down to ten, or the other direction, or, you know, as long as they were in order. I think I would have won $2,500 or something. And there was, the next row over were dollar machines. And there was a guy over there, Playing and the lights went off on top of the machine that he had won. And uh, finally, I went. He wasn't jumping him down and screaming or anything like that. But he won, uh, I think, twenty-five thousand dollars. And in Kansas City, Missouri, there was. You'd hear the people winning, see them winning all the time. And uh, so I'm not a. In, in, after going to Florida, and. Not a fan of gambling anymore. I mean, I, I wasn't addicted or anything. I did work at a hospital security for uh, one year. I mean, I worked uh, 25 years at were hospital security. But for one year, I was at one small hospital. And I think I had, at that time, I think it was three nights a week. And what I did when I worked a midnight shift, uh, I learned after a while... When I worked midnight shift, I, uh, on my nights off, I didn't sleep. I didn't try to go back to a regular routine. I just stayed up all night long, uh, just like I was working. And then I would go to bed at, you know, 6.30 a.m. in the morning and sleep just like I was, you know. And I kept the same schedule, so. When I was at the hospital working, I'd be everybody else would be uh, if they unless they were busy, you know, whether they'd be nodding or whatever, and I'd be about the only one awake. It seemed like so on my nights off, uh, you know, in the in the past, I would be up uh, all night long and cleaning house. I I think at at one point I. Would move, I'd moved a TV, had a TV set that I moved from room to room, except when I cleaned the bathroom. I just didn't take it in there, but I'd move it, be watching, clean the room, move it, you know, whatever. But this hospital, the Summit Hospital, when I worked there, I just, uh, on my nights off, drove over to the casino, stayed all night. I never won, I'd say I'd win sometimes four, five hundred, maybe six hundred dollars. And, uh, but then, of course, you know, I'd go back the next day or the next, if I went to work, you know, they'd become, the next, and anyway, for that year, I kept a record of every win that I had and a record of all the money that I spent. <laughs> it was a fun year. I had fun. I enjoyed it. But, um, at the end of the year, when I added up, up all the numbers, you know, they, they got a lot of my money, but I had a lot of fun. By the way, I've mentioned to you my hearing problem, I believe. If you watch my videos, you know that I have hearing problems, and I have since, like, second grade or whatever. Uh, PA systems in places, and some are worse than others, but I can't hear them because the uh, there's different levels of here, you know, I have different laws in each ear and the day, and then I've got this problem that, uh, 
all the sounds come into, you know, you could be right in front of me or I could be on the telephone talking and you're talking and I'm talking right and then there's something else going on over there, an alarm going on over there, somebody knocking on a door, an airplane flying over or whatever, and they all come into my system and they all come at the same strength. So I'm trying to talk to you or you're right there in front of me and if somebody's talking over there, so anyway, I was at the this one casino and uh, I was there all night and I didn't think they closed at all. I guess what they did is they closed down for one hour. So anyway, I hear there wasn't very many people there. I hear paging and it's plenty loud. That you know the loud is not the problem, you know, but it's garbled, totally garbled, blah blah blah, 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 blah you know and. Uh, I thought, oh, I wonder what they're paging for, you know. And I'm continuing to play. And uh, then I hear it again, you know, and I'm continuing to play. I look around, there's nobody there. And then I'm thinking, I wonder if they, they, they're they closing down or something. And then I see two or three security officers coming at me. And then I realize, you know, okay, there's, and then, you know, the, the other couple kind of stayed back. Maybe it was just two. But anyway, uh, it was like, you know, visit or uh, not visiting hours. I worked up, you know. Um, uh, we're, we're, you know, we're closing down. Uh, we've been, pay, you know, we're paging. I'm, I'm sorry. I didn't say, hey, I have a hearing difficulty or whatever. I said, okay, and took my thing. But they were, they thought they were going to have trouble. I guess they probably, if somebody ignores the announcements over the PA system. We're now closing everybody, whatever. They, I don't know what the announcement was. I guess they probably know, okay, if somebody ignores it, then when we're going to go over, then we're going to have trouble. So get a backup or whatever. So uh, This is being recorded with the, this is Windows 10. I'm using the, uh, Let's see, what do I want? No, I want, let's see, okay, Amazon. Oh, Amazon, as I told you, maybe they deleted all of my, uh, with no advance note, but I, I saw that they do, I want to do orders. Uh, search. Here it is. This is this is the uh, USB webcam that I am using, and now the only light is this uh, LED light back here. Let me kick on the so you can see the difference that the lighting makes. Now that is an LED light that uh, is very bright. It's one of the umbrella things. Oops, I want to take off the uh, tracking. I saw the tracking, I don't see the thing. Oh, it's over here at the side. Yeah, I want to take, of course it's not tracking, there we go. Whoops. Okay, let's see. What do we have here? Okay, I better leave it alone. See, I just installed Windows 10 back, so need to go through and now. Hopefully, we didn't lose. Well, no, you're on the screen, and it's, we're doing a screen capture, so you should still be there. Uh, so this is the it's, that's expensive for a USB webcam, but <clears throat> this does. Oh come on! Why can't I? Stop the tracking thing. Uh, nope, I can't pull it away, can I? Um, <clears throat> uh, 
So I've got a lot to do to get Windows 10 back on here. But I think I mentioned, maybe I didn't, that I was watching Twitch on the Roku TV. And uh, one of the experts, I don't think it was, one of them was saying, and the other experts were, I think, agreeing that the thing to do with Windows 10, well, the computer guy, the tech guy that does the radio show and everything, that owns Twit TV, uh, he tells people to call into the thing, okay, Windows 10, back up your data and just format your computer about once a year. That's what you have to do with Windows. That's why I want to get away, one of the reasons I want to get away from Windows 10. And the other guy says that uh, what he has decided to do, and I've decided now, that's why I formatted, decided to put Windows back on. And, and I'm just going to install the things that I use, that I actually use. I've paid for a ton of stuff. I'm not going to put them on unless I actually use them. I'm just going to have on here what I actually use and see how that works out. By the way, uh, a, when you watch these videos, you see me drinking Coca-Cola. I've been, well, I started out when I was a kid drinking Pepsi-Cola. When I got married at age 26, uh, my wife drank Coke. And so rather than having her have to go to the store and get Coke and Pepsi or whatever, I just switched to Coke. So uh, I drink a lot of Coke and I drink almost no water, but I put ice, you know, in the uh, the Coke. But how much Coke do I drink? Sorry, I don't know that one. You don't. Let's see. Oops. See if I can go down any further. There you go. That's uh, one, two, three, four. That's eight uh, 24 can. That's one month supply for me. My son drinks some, although we have other, I mean, he gets pop of all different kinds, but but he, I hear occasionally a, a can popping, so he drinks some, but basically that's, that's about $100 worth of Coke. I think we ordered a couple frozen, it came from, Amazon's uh, home, you know, delivery food service or whatever. And that's a hundred dollars worth of Coke there. Plus a couple pizzas and a loaf of bread, I believe. Uh, I wonder if I can get rid of this. Let me do this. Why won't it let me go to video? Switch to video mode. Okay, that, nope. Well, okay, I have something that I can work on. I have a ton of stuff that I can uh, work on. Uh, what time is it? 6.18. Um, I have a newsletter, the Nuzzle people or whatever. They, you can set up a newsletter. I've only got four subscribers. I've only had four subscribers for a long time. Um, before seven in the morning, I need to... See, everything is new here. Let's see, log in with... What do I use? I think Facebook. There you go. Let's see. This will be the news that will... This newsletter will go out at 7 a.m. So, uh, what the heck is this about? Okay, see this I will not approve because people were, would get this uh, pop-up here. So I remove this so they're not going to see that. Venezuela health system in worse condition than expected. Yes, no, that. Okay, more than 4,000 eggs and embryos lost in a fertility clinic tank failure. Okay. Larry Nasser's former boss accused of sexually assaulting female students. This guy, Larry Nasser, 
was the supervisor over that doctor who f for years and years uh, molested hundreds if not thousands of uh, athletes that uh, went through the uh, they sentenced him to God I think he sentenced to like, I don't know, 500 years or something the psychology of fake news okay NPR I'll leave that in there for people to read I guess I should give you the, I don't know, I think I might just do away with it. I only got four people reading it. Do I want to, you know. NVIDIA bringing joy by bringing GPU acceleration to Kybernetes. I don't know what in the world is that. Let's see. I don't know what it is, not, don't care. Ramp up for the fight against opiate abuse. Let's see. Uh, let's see. I, I heard that Trump's numbers actually went up a little bit. I think his popularity went to 42%. His unfavorables are, I think, are at 53%. So anyway, I'll leave that in there if it looks interesting. Let's see. France calls arson that killed a Jewish woman 85 a hate crime. Department of Education failed. Teachers lose grants, forced to pay, repay thousands in loans. I think I'll put that. Microsoft releases tool for running any Linux OS in Windows 10. Hmm. Uh... Microsoft has released a tool on Monday to help Linux officials, uh, people who like like it, in importing their favorite Linux distro to run on the Windows subsystem for Linux, WSL, a Windows 10 component that sideloads Linux distros on modern Windows 10 PCs. Better leave that in because I want to read that myself. Let's see. That's it. So that'll be the newsletter that will go out. At seven. Oh, so much to do and it's, I'm just so tired all the time. And it's different, you know, I should, I have stuff that I would like to do in this room organizing and I just can't get it I can't get it done if I were the way I was a few years ago I could get it all done in a short period of time now I just can't you know if I walk to the mailbox come back I need to take a nap and when I walk to the mailbox and come back I'm sometimes surprised that I made it back so anyway, Windows 10, and I'm going to put uh, Linux Mint on here later, dual boot. This is the Asus Chrome box. No. Yeah, it is a Chrome box. Yes, it is. Back here is my uh, TCL Roku TV set. And the last video you probably watched, it was over there. And who knows where it'll be tomorrow. Anyway, um, well, let's check. Okay, you've got, you're not going anywhere. What? 
Let's go to YouTube. In the last uh, month, I have made $30.99 from YouTube. Um, I only need 20 more subscribers, and then I will have 2,500 subscribers. Um, it looks like that effective mid-April... YouTube is updating their policy on videos featuring firearms. This will piss off, I'm sure, a bunch of people because they're not going to want any restraints on, you know, them being able to show their guns, talk about their guns and whatever. Let's see, the policy on content featuring firearms. YouTube prohibits certain kinds of content featuring firearms firearms. By the way, you know, of course, you can just pause this and read this. And, and uh, it says, we don't allow content that intends to sell firearms or certain firearm accessories through direct sales, that is, private sales by individuals, or links to sites that sell these items. These accessories include, but may not be limited to, accessories that enable a firearm to simulate automatic in, uh, fire or convert a firearm to automatic fire, such as or bumper stocks, uh, gating triggers, drop-in auto sears, conversion kits, and high-capacity magazines. Magazines are belts carrying more than 30 rounds. Uh, also, they don't allow uh, anything that provides instructions on manufacturing a firearm, ammunition, high-capacity magazine, homemade silencers, suppressors, or certain firearm accessories such as those listed above. This also includes instructions on how to convert a firearm to automatic or simulated automatic firing uh, capacities. Capabilities, or let's see, shows users how to install the above-mentioned modifications. I mean, uh, that seems perfectly okay to me, but to the pro-gun people, any restrictions at all, they positively do not want. So, well, let's go to uh, Video Manager for me. I have 855 videos. Now, the last video, which uh, we're letting you know that uh, uh, let's see, Amazon had removed all of my reviews without notifying me or anything, I, uh, and there was no warnings or anything. And I had hundreds and hundreds, they're all gone. Every last one of them. I really don't care. You know, I'm not going to. Well, like I said the other day, I might still do a review sometime if I get a product that I really like or something. I think, hey, you people would really, you know, I may still do the video, but I'm not going to be doing. I got in the habit I was reviewing just about everything that I got and no more of that. Let's see. You can see, I have been doing videos on, I was doing videos before YouTube even came around, even, but I joined when, in 2005 when YouTube started, but you can see, um, you know, 100 views, 150, 200 views, uh, I'm just one of the little guys. Um, I've had people tell me, you know, okay, you could do this or that. I'm not, I'm just going to do my thing, do what I uh, 
what I want to do and and uh, not going to do anything crazy and uh, things that I think are stupid or just just to get views. I and I think that works out good for you and for me. Uh, I had somebody the other day talking about how how. Uh, YouTube, a lot of you, most YouTube people, it sounds like, get all this hate and whatever. You people are really nice. Uh, it's very rare. Look at all the nice thumbs up, you know. And it's very rare to uh, even get a thumbs down and very rare to get anybody really says anything, you know, that, that's not nice. So... Anyway, I uh, thank you very much for watching. It is 6.30 a.m. I've been up all night. And I'll probably uh, take my morning medication. And then I'll probably take a nap. And wake up and mess with the rest of this stuff. I thank you very much for watching.